Hello friends! There are some videos on my channel dedicated to direct current dimmers. For example, tiny dimmer designed for 5 amps and 10 amp dimmer. And now we will test the device which according to its specifications can withstand the current of 20 amps. Let's connect it to the power supply and start the test. Everything is connected. Let's turn the power supply on. Here we have 1 amp. Let's increase the load. 2.4 amps. 3.8 amps. Let's measure the maximum temperature. 35. Let's increase the load. 5 amps. 5.6 amps. 6.3 amps. Let's measure the temperature. 67. First let's apply the cooling solution and then continue the test. The device was too hot and I had to turn the power supply off. Now I'll disconnect all the lamps and connect the powerful car bulb instead of them. And after that I'll connect small car bulbs step by step. Now this is the maximum temperature. Let's turn the power supply on. Let's increase the load. Here we have two lamps turned on at the same time. 4.2 amps. And the temperature is 31 maximum. Let's increase the load. Approximately 5 amps. 6 amps. 36. 7.2 amps 43 8.1 amps 49 8.6 amps 55 9.2 amps 59 9.4 amps 72 Let's improve the cooling 9.6 amps Not more And I'll try to add a bit more load with the help of this extender 9.8 amps The temperature is 74 Let's try to increase the current with the help of the potentiometer. 15 amps. 83. Let's try to increase the power a bit more. 17 amps. 18, 19, and so here we have the result. Let's connect it to another power supply in order to reveal the problem. So the device is ok and the power supply is damaged. But anyway, as to the conclusion, the device could withstand the load of 20 amps but it's difficult to say which cooling solution should be used for this purpose. According to the temperatures achieved with the present cooling solution, I can say that the maximum current in such conditions is approximately 15 amps. And finally, let's check the PWM of this device. Twenty-three twenty-five. Twenty six twenty seven, twenty six twenty seven, twenty seven point one, twenty seven point two, twenty five, twenty six. So the PWM frequency of this device is approximately twenty seven kilohertz. Hope this video was helpful for you. Thanks for watching. Wish you good luck.